Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Whoop. If you're new here, my name is Hawk. I use a him pronouns. I am a 19 year old art student. Today I thought we would do a what's in my bag video for school because I like those videos. I'm nosy. I like to see what people carry around. Um, I apologize in advance if the lighting is like a little funky. It is like 6 o'clock as I'm filming this. 6 p.m. not 6 a.m. and the lighting in my room is not the best so I don't really know what this is gonna look like. Hopefully it's acceptable. Let's get into it. This is my backpack. It's just like a green band sport. Pretty standard. I got it from TJ Maxx like three years ago now I think. But I like the color and Jen's like a very sturdy, which is nice because I have to carry a lot of shit around. First up we have my emotional support water bottle. Woo! Um, this is very important. Um, I just like be hydrated. <laughs> As I said in the last video, I am chronically ill. I have a chronic illness called POTS and it's very, very important to be hydrated with that. So I like to put electrolyte powder in here, Gatorade. You can get electrolyte packets at like Aldi that are super nice. And I figure if, I, if it's something that I have to carry on all the time, I might as well make it cute. So I've got a lot of different stickers here. We've got this one, which is a POTS official gravity tester. If I can remember or find the name of the Etsy seller, I will put it here because it's so cute. I love it. We have the, oh, there we go. Black Sabbath Paranoid Album Man, because I love Black Sabbath, especially the Paranoid Album. And just like anything Ozzy Osbourne does. So we've got him there. We've got this turtle. Um, that my mom got for me from, I think, a South Carolina, like, turtle sanctuary, which is super cool. We've got this writing center one. I don't live in Buffalo, but I live near it, and they do some super cool work there. Got this dog that I don't remember where I got from. <laughs> We've got Orville Peck, who is another musician that I just absolutely love. Like the intersection of country and queerness is something I'm so passionate about coming from a small rural town. And I think country is punk as hell. And I'm not thinking about like stadium country, but like true classic, like Johnny Cash, Loretta Lynn, um, all those wonderful people who were like working class, blue collar people who used country to talk about those issues. I think it's so freaking cool and wonderful. And I could probably do a video essay about it, honestly. Um, what else do we have? We have this Protect Trans Kids sticker. It's super, super important these days, especially. And I like, you know, promoting good things on my water bottle and causes that are important to me. We also have this like half falling off cinema roll. <laughs> I feel bad for him. I might replace him at one point. We'll see. But yeah. Um, and this is a simply modern water bottle. It's sold at most like Target and Walmart. I think I got this at a Walmart. I'm not entirely sure, but it's like a fairly common brand. Well, let's get into what is actually in my backpack. <laughs> I carry a lot of random shit around, you'll see. But some of it is like actually necessary. Like first we have this just green notebook for this from Target. If you couldn't tell, green is my favorite color. Uh, this is my art history notebook. Just, you know, standard college blue uni notes, especially for art history. There's a lot, a lot of dates and stuff to remember. Um, we have this book. This is Anyway the Wind Blows by Rainbow Rowell. It's the third in the Simon Snow Carry On trilogy. I love these books. I reread them like at least once a year. It's such, such a fantastic series. If you're interested in fantasy and magic and like, if you like Harry Potter, you'll probably like these, but it's overall less like queer baby <laughs> because uh, there's actual queer representation, there's actual POC representation that isn't marginalized. I mean, some people have an issue with Rainbow Girl because of her book Eleanor and Park, which does get a little, like, suspicious. 
but um so you know take that with the grain of salt or whatever but this is a really good book and i like to carry around books because i'm on campus from like 11 a.m to f almost 6 p.m most days that i thought i'm there so having books to pass the time is very helpful i highly recommend this one we also have this wallet um i have this one and i have another one which is a green like coach wristlet i bought that one at the outlets for like 25 dollars, and it's one of the best like sales i've ever gotten because i would not buy it if it was not on sale because money um and i have this little kudatama on here i don't know if you can see that <laughs> do the beauty influencer thing um she's a little guy i love kudatama he's my favorite sanrio character i too am just like you know a lazy egg this is what i like to call my illness bag it's just once again, a pencil pouch from I think Walmart, but it's got like ibuprofen in it, um, fidget toys, I like these like wacky tracks, I think they're called, which, interesting name choice, but they're nice and I like things with like sounds. We've got one of the Nido Cool Cats, just squishy, fun, doesn't make noise so you can use it in class, which is nice, same thing with these little like mochi guys i've got some of those um this like spinner fidget spinner and pop it combo which is really nice i love the way this one uh sounds like some of the pop it's like if you get to one side it doesn't pop as well but this one is pretty nice on both sides you can spin it this one you cannot use in class it's very noisy please don't be one of those people yeah, I've got like Tylenol, you know, all the things. A tiny dinosaur for whatever reason. I'm not really sure why, but you know, just a little friend, a little guy to help you get through your day. I like dinosaurs. Not to be like the stereotypical, you know, nerd never can person, but I do like dinosaurs. Uh, what else we have here? Oh, we have my um, compression gloves. These are good if your hands get tired really easily. Personally, I don't have a lot of hand strength, <laughs> so this is great. I also just get like random like pins and needles and weird shit that happens in my hands. Um, so these are really helpful if you've been writing all day, if you've been typing, you know, all that good stuff. I think these are just like off of Amazon for like eight bucks. We also have, we have my ID, but I'm not gonna show you it. Um, we have this little Ryakuma. I don't remember the bird's name, I think it's Curatory. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this is just a little hand sanitizer. It's from Daiso. I picked it up over the summer while I was working. I love Daiso. I miss it every day. Please come to Western New York. <laughs> but yeah, it smells nice and it's just convenient. Um, it's my keys. It's, they're all on this little like keychain thing, I think from Five Below. And then we've got my loop earplugs these are the engage ones these are so amazing I'm not sponsored in any way i just really love them um i think these are the, these are the engage ones which is great because sometimes with like noise canceling headphones i like that it eliminates the background noise but then i get scared because i don't know like i can't hear everything that's going on around me especially like if i'm in you know like manhattan or something that can be literally a safety issue um but these are great because it eliminates the background noise but you can still hear people if you're like having conversations or whatever so highly recommend <laughs> we also have my dice bag um these are for dungeons and dragons if you don't know it's i have like five different sets of dice in here um i don't even know if you can see that but like there they are <laughs> we're gonna do an up close shot I don't know if you can see that at all um i made this one it's just this like cotton bird print fabric because you know gotta stick to the name aesthetic i guess i'm not really sure why i have these in there to be honest they're nice to fidget with as well like they make a fun noise but you know D, &D emergencies also have this poppet 
this one is not the best but i won it at a like bowling alley arcade over the summer with my family we go to the finger lakes uh every summer and have for the past couple years so a this is fun to fidget with b it's a good memory so that's nice it's just like rainbow fun we also have a portable charger these are great this is just like the walmart on brand you'll see i get a lot of shit from walmart because where i live that's like the only thing near me unless you want to go like 45 minutes to target so uh just your standard earbuds mine are all tangled that bothers some people it's just what happens for me um <laughs> the uh what's this for snacks i have a lot of snacks in my bag again chronic illness you know it's good to have snacks Although, usually I try to carry more salty snacks. Sorry, my cat is coming out of her tunnel. Here, you wanna say hi? Oh, this is Penelope. Say hello, Penelope. She's so beautiful. She's the love of my life. I promise she does actually like me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, for snacks, I normally have like 5 million of these in my bag because I forget that I have them in there and I put more in there, so it's just like, you know, the same rotation of like 5 month old for snacks. So maybe don't do that, but, you know. And then we have this Scentbird, uh, it's not a rollerball, but it's like a travel perfume. It's again, I'm not sponsored, but for the record, I do think this is worth it. It was like, 9 dollars maybe 12 with shipping which i don't think is that bad uh this is the memoir cabin retreat and it does indeed smell like you're like in the woods somewhere you know which i like it's fun if i'm feeling a little bit more like masculine or just like in between because it's pretty neutral scent um see so yeah, i just like to keep it and there's you know been on campus all day running around feeling like you need a little refresh these are great and then this little like travel case which is nice and then we'll just move on to the small pocket like i said i have a lot of random random stuff more fruit snacks i'm just gonna kind of like speed around some of these um the aforementioned electrolyte packets 10 out of 10 sunglasses these are just like aviators they're cool they're nice uh this ryakuma squishy who used to be on my like id and keys but he was about to break so now he just lives in the pocket um another small pocket this one isn't great not really sure why it's in there can probably just like keep one out gum that I often forget is in there, but, you know, is nice. Band-aids. I wear docks like 99% of the time, so band-aids are important. <laughs> I've been trying to break in uh, these platform docks I got for Christmas for like, you know, since Christmas, and it's not happening. They're like vinyl. <laughs> it's very hard to break in, so band-aids are essential. I also got this um, Clinique chubby stick lip balm this is great i think this is a uh, like freebie my mom got that she didn't like the color of so she gave to me but this is awesome it's really moisturizing and it's not like super pigmented it's pretty buildable and uh the color is super strawberry which is like not necessarily a neutral because this is like very pink but i mean i do a lot of like fun makeup so this counts as a neutral to me and it's just great for like on the go 10 out of 10 recommend you know the other important lotion that i don't think i've actually ever used but is in here self-defense keychain this it used to be on like a key but it broke i guess but either way it's still good to have Pens. we've got random 
candies in here. I like crave sugar constantly, so which is probably a problem, but these little things are nice. I really like this um, Kita melon candy, once again from Daiso. It's this like creamy melon, just like hard candy, and it's really nice. It's just with a green apple high chew. Um, what else do I have? Oh, we've got this really cute little note that I like to keep in here. I got it last year for Women's History Month, week, day, I think whatever that is. And um, they were giving them out in the student union and it just says, sometimes the bravest and most important thing you can do is just show up. And that is a quote from Breen Brown. Don't know who that is, but it's got this cute little cat on it. And it's just a cute little reminder, you know, it makes me smile. So I keep it in there. I think the rest is just like pens. <laughs> so let's move on. Oh, sorry. My bones. I keep my larger art supplies in this L Train vintage coat. It's just like the free one you get if you purchase anything from them. Um, I don't like it. It's like a nice size and you know. People will know I'm cool or whatever, because I've been to the hipster place. But in all real, like L Train is cool. They have a bunch of different locations around. I think mostly Brooklyn, because L Train. But there might be one in Manhattan. I'm not entirely sure. But if you have a chance, I would definitely check them out. It's a cool spot. It's a little bit more curated than just like your Goodwill or whatever. So the prices do tend to be a little bit higher, but not awfully, I don't think. It's somewhere in between like the really curated, highly priced vintage stores. Like if you know, like Awoke Vintage or um, like Spark Pretty or anything like that, where the prices tend to be a bit higher, it's kind of in that middle range. So <laughs> anyways, sorry for the tangent. This is my just like sketchbook. It's a pretty standard sketchbook. We've got another pencil case from Target. I have a lot of pencil cases. They're all filled with different things. As a writing major and someone who also takes art classes, you know, you have a lot of utensils. It's got like post-it notes, these mile liners, which I love. They're really nice and they're really easy to use. And I like to make my notes pretty so I want to look at them later and study, which sounds really stupid, but like sometimes you gotta trick your brain into doing things, you know? We've <laughs> got another pencil case. This one I got from Dollar Tree literally like a week ago. It's really cute too, that Dollar 25, you know, the 25 cents really did something. Um, I just keep my paintbrushes in here. We were doing ink. So I want them to be separate and this is nice because you can like wipe it down easily. It's just that like tin, I think, metal, you know what I mean, that kind of <laughs> material. So my drawing pencils with uh, also the erasers in there, which I really should find a better way to store them that isn't just like gooped up in there. But, you know. Got a ruler. Just your standard metal ruler, but helpful for drawing. We've got my charcoal box. If you've ever used charcoal, you know that it gets literally everywhere. So like, please put it in something else. And I covered it in this Ryukuma washi tape. If you can't tell, I also really like Ryukuma. Um, it's like a little sea otter themed, which is so super cute. Once again from Daiso, can't wait to go back. And I think the case is just like a crayon box from a Dollar Tree. <laughs> we have another mochi. It, this one is a seal. He has a happy little face. I don't know if you can see that. Get to focus. There we go. <laughs> um, another pair of sunglasses. These are from Target last summer. They're super cute. They kind of make you look like a bitch when you wear them. But sometimes that's good because you want people to leave you alone. So, highly recommend. And then, <laughs> just like a random fruit snack wrapper. And that's pretty much it. 
Please back. So, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, um, comment, subscribe, notifications, all those lovely things that help me out. You probably know the drill. I will see you in the next video.